This is Rebecca. She fell in love with Luke. He's got that boy next door charm, but he's very still manly at the same time. As an interabled couple, they are no strangers to tough judgment. I've had more backlash with you than I have with any other relationship that I've had in my life. Will the pair finally be able to convince the world that Rebecca is Luke's girlfriend and not his caregiver? I think, like, definitely at the start, I had doubts that my disability would be in the way somehow. I guess his family and everything all thought, you know, is this something that's going to last? So I guess I might put like a long sleeve top on and then maybe put a jumper over the top. Yeah, that's probably my favourite jumper, I believe. I'm usually up till about 1, 2 a.m. So um, I usually get out pretty late. Hello, I'm Luke, I'm 28 years old. I uh, live in Melbourne, Australia. Rebecca and Luke have been together for almost three years, having met when Rebecca came to watch a power chair match. I was representing Victoria at a power chair football event. The first time I properly met Luke, I was at a sporting competition and I was watching him play and I just thought he looked really sexy. And I was like to one of the girls I was sitting with like, wow, isn't he really sexy how he plays with like socks on and he just looks so dainty, but he's really like aggressive on court. And she looked at me like I was crazy. He just really hit it off straight away. And we spoke non-stop until mm. January of the next year when he finally... I finally got the courage to, to ask you out. Yeah. I think power chair sports has been the biggest thing that has ever happened to me. It's always fun to be able to court and, and play and compete in something that I could actually do myself. I was born with a neuromuscular disorder called nevelin myopathy. Um, I was diagnosed at 18 months and pretty much it just affects my muscles. Uh, it makes them a bit weaker, but I've had this electric wheelchair. I've also used this bifat machine that um, helps me breathe. Um, and I got that when I was three years old. I was in hospital uh, quite a lot in my younger years. I uh, had quite bad cases of um, ammonia. Um, Mate, can you read it's pneumonia? Please do not say ammonia. <laughs> I'm a nurse. I work in intensive care, which is why I'm very pedantic about him saying ammonia instead of pneumonia. Two very different things. Despite being a nurse, Rebecca decided her relationship with Luke would be purely romantic and she would not also become his carer. Me and Rebecca are trying to keep our routines separate. I don't really want to rely on her to do everything for me. I guess for me, I when I met Luke, because he was already independent with his own care, I didn't think it was right of me to just assume that role for him. I didn't ever want him to feel like he couldn't do something because he didn't want to be a burden on me. Despite leading independent lives, Rebecca has had a lot of judgment due to her relationship with Luke. I've had more backlash with you than I have with any mm. other relationship that I've had in my life. I probably have had more intrusive questions and doubts about Luke's ability to provide for me as a partner and I just found that really bizarre because I thought as a society we were surely a bit better than that. Someone will go, oh what's Luke doing today? And I'll be like, yeah Luke's going to the football tonight. And the first question I always get is, who's taking him? And you kind of have to be like, Luke's the owner of a company. He runs his own business, he's 28 years old, no one takes him anywhere. I think that frustrates you more than it yeah. <laughs> frustrates me because I, I guess I'm used to that type of language. I think like definitely at the start I had doubts 
that my disability would be in the way somehow. I would always put that in my own situation. Mm. Um, whether that's um, having that so I could like protect Rebecca if there was like a, a dangerous situation, uh, be able to cook meals for her, look after her when she was sick. The couple have had to get used to answering a lot of questions about personal aspects of their relationship. Initially, I didn't even think twice about Luke's disability when we first started dating. People have asked us like whether our kids will have the same disability as Luke and I remember the first person that asked me this question, I was like, Sh I have no idea. Like I hadn't even thought about it. With those closest to them being concerned about how the relationship would play out between the two. Have egg bread if you want. Egg bread is Luke's word for French toast. <laughs> be an easier way to say it. Yeah. She's very different to her previous partners. Oh no, they're going to have a pancake situation. At first I was a little bit concerned. I was wondering, you know, before I knew him really well, what his intentions were with Rebecca, being a bit protective as a friend. I've always been the older sister. Um, from a very young age, sort of really wanted, be, wanted to be that person that looks after Luke, looks out for him. Right, do you want to do the egg bread? Yeah, if you want. At the start we were like, oh, we're not sure if, um, you know, Luke really wants to be doing all these, you know, really different things. Dating with a disability is uh, sometimes quite hard. I guess we all sort of thought, you know, is this something that's going to last? <laughs> She's part of the family now. And we can see that they both, you know, love each other and they're there for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Going out as a couple, people often assume Rebecca is Luke's carer rather than his girlfriend. I think it's more frustrating to have to explain things to people, but in a sense that like, if we go out and we're together, having to point out that yes, we're a couple, even though we're sitting there holding hands, we may have kissed. Yeah. And you want a scarf? Yeah. What scarf do you want? Uh, maybe the red one. Okay. Whether there are still those who may doubt their relationship, Luke and Rebecca are certain their love is real. What I love about Rebecca is how beautiful she is, how smart she is, how, how career-driven she is as well. But I love her awkwardness. Um, I love how competitive she is. Are we doing a Macca's run? <laughs> Macca's we love run. arguing. Yeah, yeah, we are very good debaters. For me, he was just like the epitome of that really kind and caring guy. Um, that can still have a really rowdy time, but he's very like sensitive and thoughtful. He's got that boy next door charm, but he's very still manly at the same time. We love each other and can make it work. We can make it last.